Hello and welcome, Sparky here. So today I will be doing a review on the SOAS-20 Scout Rifle. Now, I'm playing Terran, but this weapon also has Varnu and New Conglomerate equivalents, which will still have the same stats. This rapid fire weapon costs you no more than 250 certs, and with a rate of fire of 652 RPM and a muzzle velocity of 500 meters per second, this rifle is very decent for its cost. Now it has 24 shots per clip and by default 10 clips of ammunition. It has a reload speed of 2.64 seconds, meaning that you might want to have some cover or hunter cloaker cloaking to on standby. The SOAS 20 Scout Rifle has one mode of firing, which funnily enough is automatic. As a as it as this is a rapid fire weapon, there is no real point on having a massive scope on it. So I recommend the MH2 reflex sight, which is a two times red dot sight. I can also say that the one times red dot sight works fine. With this weapon, you will probably want to get behind the weapon, uh, behind the enemy. Sorry, obviously you're behind the weapon. If an attack is pushing north, then you probably want to be pushing from the south. This way, you're more likely to survive, and the enemy will be focusing on the attack from the opposite direction. Now, I also recommend the forward grip and the suppressor for this ta doing this tactic, as you will have better accuracy, and you will probably be quieter and more likely to live. So, this weapon is good for medium to close range. I haven't really tested it at long range, but it doesn't seem like it's going to do that well. Okay, so I will now go over the cost of the attachments of which I recommend. So I recommend the MH2 reflex sight, which costs you 30 certs, the suppressor, which costs you 100 certs, the forward grip, which costs you 100 certs, and the rifle costs you 250. So this totals up to 480 certs. I will now leave you with a small amount of gameplay. But, don't expect anything great. I'm not particularly good, as you've just seen. So this weapon is good at close range as well, as I'm now proving, uh, and I recommend going for headshots, as they will obviously do the most amount of damage. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and don't forget to be awesome. Hey you guys, Sparky here, thanks for watching my Plants Hope 2 review. Uh, you have a choice of two options, well, three options, but you know. Uh, you have the previous video, which is the Rust Easy Anti Cheat Fix, the Hunter Series 1, Episode 1, which is the other series. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, like, and don't forget to be awesome.